America. Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we are talking about the Siege of Boston. The Siege of Boston was the longest in our nation's history. It began with a British defeat at the Battles of Lexington and Concord on April 19, 1775, when the once proud British Army retreated to the relative safety of Boston. Two months later, the Redcoats' costly victory at Bunker Hill caused English commanders to reconsider any attempts to break out of the city. Surrounded by 16,000 determined militiamen, the British were locked up tight. However, without long-range artillery, the Americans could not force the British to evacuate Boston. Fortunately, the Continental Army had a large supply of these guns 300 miles away at Fort Ticonderoga, which recently was captured by Ethan Allen and the Green Mountain Boys. Henry Knox convinced General George Washington to let him go to Ticonderoga and bring the guns back to Boston. On December 6, 1775, Knox began a long trek with his noble train of artillery. This cannon caravan crossed the partially frozen Hudson River and conquered the heights of the Berkshire Mountains. By the time these hardy wagoneers reached the last leg of the journey, word of their heroic mission had spread. Crowds gathered and watched and cheered as if the procession was a parade. Finally, on January 27, 1776, after 300 miles over hill and dale, in 53 frozen days and nights, Colonel Knox delivered the guns into General Washington's very capable hands. Next week, we will talk about how General Washington and the Continental Army used these guns to force the British out of Boston. Until next time, may your love of country lead you.